Has it ever happened to you that you find yourself in some social media app and you have no idea how you actually got there? This happened to me so many times. I was just doing something and then I realized, oh, how did I end up here? It's so automatic that you know where it is, the app in your phone, and you just go there, <laughs> you know? Like you're doing something like, for example, I don't know, watching TV and there's the commercial break or uh, waiting for your food at the restaurant. And then just in a blink of an eye, there you are. And then you start scrolling. This was for me like this with Instagram for a really long time, for years. Then one night, I just realized, okay, let's try something different. Let's try using a little bit less of this social media and see how it goes. I found this tip to delete basically the app for the rest of the night. So next morning I can download it again. But the thing was that downloading the app is not really easy thing. I mean, it takes a couple of more steps than to just tap it and open it. So I deleted the app, but the next morning I didn't download it again from the app store. It wasn't there and I realized, ah, it's not worth it, you know, all my time to download again and log in again and all that. Then some time passed and after maybe a week or two, I realized, oh, I haven't been using Instagram in a long time. I like completely forgot. It was for me so automatic, the habit, of going to Instagram and start scrolling but it wasn't actually to see something in there like something specific it was just this like mindless act then I decided if it is like this really that I don't even feel I'm missing out on anything why should I go back then and then I decided let's see how it goes I will just not load the app again but if one day I feel to I will and now I will take a cup of coffee after a couple of weeks I started to have this automatic habit for something else. News application, Facebook as well. So I started to check all the time there, like are there new posts? Are there some new interesting news? So then I realized actually that Instagram was just a tool for me, like a way to get distracted from the present moment. And when I took the Instagram out, then something else came to replace that. So I was always trying to go away from the present moment to something like more interesting. And I think this is a phenomenon that is in modern world in our lives but even I have seen pictures from like decades ago and people who used to have the newspapers always open and read those actually I think this is a human thing if you have been using social media for all your life basically then why not try this experiment that you take a seven days off and see just how it is I think that's exactly in life what is important to you know break the pattern sometimes and try something different so you can learn much more about yourself. I can tell I did great things in this six months. I have been really running a lot and going to the gym a lot. I've been better shaped than ever in my life. And I believe that my social relations became much better despite not being on social media by just, you know, meeting people in real life much more. And this YouTube channel, for example, I have been enjoying so much to do these videos. I think if I would spend or waste so much time on social media wondering what other people think, I wouldn't have been so confident in uh, posting these videos and talking about experiences, whatever. It's not really that I'm so insecure about uh, making YouTube content, but as well, I wasn't feeling, you know, that I'm missing out on anything or feeling that I should have been somewhere else and not here. Yeah, and I used to be as well, like anxious of what if I don't post to social media every six months because I didn't want people to think that I don't have a life. I think that quitting Instagram made me much more confident. A couple of weeks ago, I downloaded the Instagram app again. I realized immediately I have missed really a lot of things because nowadays people don't anymore send you a text uh, or give a call hey something big happened in my life they usually just post it on instagram on facebook so basically i had missed quite a lot of things i don't really feel bad about it but i realized that i could be really present only in the life of the people who are like close to me living in the same city but for example i have quite a lot of international friends so i was missing out completely what's going on in their lives. Of course, I could have sent a message like, hi, how are you? But you know, it's so much easier to just go to social media, check their Instagram story. Okay, that's what they did today. 
so yeah you don't have to go everybody individually and ask how they are that would be quite overwhelming but as well i realized i'm not finding the app immediately in my phone and going there to scroll and i have to be aware that i'm not going back to that either because that's not what i want you're teasing me you're not in a so it could be that i'm deleting the app again i don't know i don't really want to make these decisions that will be forever i just i will have it on my phone track how it is and if I feel that or see that my mind is all the time going there then I will just delete it and that is what I would suggest to you as well to track how long time you use social media a day every day and then if you are not happy with that then just try to take a break if you feel like you are not living your life to the fullest potential then you need to check out this video where we talk about three super important things that you need in your life if you want to start to get more out of it. Thank you so much for watching and remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey. Ciao!